What exactly are the key differences between DaVinci Resolve Studio and the free version? In this video, I'm going to paint a very clear picture as to whether you need to part with your cash and buy the studio version. My name's Dan, you're watching Dan Vinci, and let's jump into the differences. Okay, so the basics. There's the free version. Free. But there's also the paid version, which is otherwise known as DaVinci Resolve Studio. Studio. Price. The UI on DaVinci Resolve and DaVinci Resolve Studio is basically the same. The only key differences are mainly how the software runs on your computer, so how it utilizes the hardware that you have, and the features. Most recently, the AI push. There is an awful lot as of recently that has been added in the studio version that is AI specific that can really enhance your editing speed and skills that you can only access with studio. So that is a very fundamental importance that you need to know. But Dan, you've covered the basics about DaVinci Resolve, but what are the key differences? So the key differences are quite simple. Let's start off with the free version's limitations. Now, unfortunately, if you're looking to edit in 8K, the free version unfortunately does not support it. The free version actually only supports up to 3840 by 2160, which if you're not aware, is like the most standard version of 4K out there. If you get your iPhone out, it will be able to shoot this. The frame rate is unfortunately capped up to 60 FPS. You can obviously go beyond that in the paid version. Fun in fact, this is plastered all over the DaVinci Resolve website, you can actually go in the paid version up to 32K. My computer can barely run 4K, so it'd be interesting to hear the many sounds my computer would make at 32K. Now, obviously we've discussed the FPS. So yes, the free version, unfortunately, can only support up to 60 FPS in the timelines and in the export process. If you want to edit in slow-mo, which is usually 120 FPS and above, but if you're editing something where you need to render at like 120 FPS, the free version isn't gonna cut it for you. This is just off the top of my head, not from the list of research that I've done already. I believe from memory, you cannot do portrait 4K content in the free version. Future editing Dan here. I am indeed correct. This might be a huge reason for an awful lot of you to upgrade to DaVinci Resolve Studio. In DaVinci Resolve Studio, you can make custom timelines and custom exports of various different resolutions. You can literally make an ultra wide, super wide timeline if you wanted to. Another massive constraint that the free version has that is hidden is how DaVinci Resolve actually utilizes the hardware in your machine. For those who don't necessarily understand how rendering and encoding works, you have something called a GPU or a CPU that has integrated graphics, Hello there. which effectively encodes your files together. So in other words, creates a sandwich, putting all of your different slices and layers together to create one video file, basically. I like the sandwich analogy making me want to have a sandwich. Now the speed in which you can make these sandwiches increases obviously the more cores and GPU power that you have. And if you're a professional wanting to get content out all the time and you live, die and breathe the stuff, speed is your ally and the studio version has the ability to utilize various different GPUs all at once to optimize speed and output for your rendering. So if you want to be able to encode using multiple GPUs in the settings menu, the paid version, otherwise known as studio, it might be the one for you. The Film Look Creator. So the Film Look Creator basically brings together some amazing effects that basically mean that you can create this film look really, really quickly. Now, obviously in the free version, you can actually do some of this yourself manually, but this brings all of these features together in one place on the control panel, makes this film look really easy to access. <laughs> Object removal. Now, this was added before the AI hype train existed. So object removal is basically what it says on the tin. It removes objects. I've done a video on this in the cards now, whichever side it is. Object removal. Object removal is a really, really satisfying feature. It saved me so many times. The amount of times I shoot something, don't see something that's ugly, and I need to remove it. Now this feature isn't perfect, but if you're a clumsy creator like me, having the ability to remove something in video footage is just fantastic. I don't know, I'll try and remove that. Disappear, come back, disappear. Object remove. English. Object removal. Noise reduction. 
Arguably the most intense thing that you can do on your computer is noise reduction. It doesn't sound or look like the most intensive thing to do on your computer, but it is. And I'm sure if you put a piece of paper in your computer, you could light a fire with noise reduction. <laughs> Basically, this is video noise reduction, not to be confused with audio noise reduction. That is also a feature in DaVinci Resolve. Whether it's in the paid version or not, I don't know. Tell the audience, future me. Yes, audio noise reduction is available in the free version. But the more advanced voice isolation is only available in the studio version. This has actually recently saved me. I was on a shoot. To be fair, it was extremely dark. Basically, the footage came out noisy, like really noisy. And what I was able to do, because I had studio version on me, was crank up the noise reduction and it actually saved me. This, after some patience, it will slow your computer down no matter what you have, is a fantastic, powerful tool and I have actually done a video on it. It's quite an old video, needs a bit of an update, but it gives you the tools nonetheless on how to use noise reduction in DaVinci Resolve cards. Again, I don't know which side it is. And now for my favourite one, the one that most creators don't shut up about, including me! And that's the Magic Mask. So for all of you free users out there, the Magic Mask, if you haven't heard of it, is a mask tool where you can just select something on screen and as long as there's some contrast there, you will cut it out. So for example, if I cut myself out like right now, you will see that it cuts out my shirt perfectly fine and my skin tone perfectly fine because it's fairly well lit and you know reflects the light, but it struggles with my hair. This tool isn't perfect, but I'd say it's in the 90% perfect range. I've used it to create some fantastic content over the years. It's really, really powerful. You can find it in the Fusion page and the Color page. You can also use it for color grading. So really its main purpose for being created was so that you could select something and then color grade it. But creators have used it for various different things as have I. I think this would be a strong reason for you to upgrade to DaVinci Resolve Studio. If I had to bet on which feature would draw the most users from the free version to the pay version, I would put my money on the Magic Mask simply because of just how fantastic it is. I use it every day. AI subtitles and audio transcription. These are some AI based tools that were added fairly recently, I think in the last sort of year or two, and they are a fantastic way to basically create short form content, really. And these features, unfortunately, are only available in the studio version. You can use the transcription for all sorts of different use cases, mainly for the subtitles, short form, it's a winner. Its name is basically what it says on the tin. It generates subtitles for you extra quickly. Obviously, it's not going to be perfect, but it saves you an awful lot of time instead of doing it completely manually. My colleague who sits next to me at work uses this regularly and I never hear him complain. <laughs> and like I said, with audio transcription, it is a fantastic feature for, let's say you have an hour's bit of footage on your timeline and you need to find a particular part where, I don't know, the narrator is talking about something. You can simply generate a transcription and then search and edit via the text. Brilliant, brilliant feature. I never would have thought I needed this, you know, back before it was a thing, but it's here. It's great and it's awesome. You should try it out. Spend your money. Bye, studio. And then to finish things up because I'll talk forever about the features is 10-bit color support. Support like this makes grading easy and fantastic. You get so much more dynamic range and you're able to push your footage that bit further, making it stand out just a bit more. But it's, yeah, it's not really something that people really talk about. Sorry for the lack of uploads recently. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I went on holiday and then I realized how burnt out I was from making DanVinci videos and also just life. A lot of life stuff has been going on, which is fine. So I've rested. I'm going to slowly ramp up uploads again, but hopefully I don't, you know, burn myself out again because I can do that sometimes. Feel free to get subscribed if you've liked the content from here. I've got various different videos that I'm always working on. But yeah, feel free to get subscribed. I've put links in the description for the plugins that I use. So if you saw any effects in this, you can probably find them in the links. My name's Dan, you've watched Dan Vinci, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.